and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and this is Sticky Mess 17. My channel is all about cleaning information, inspiration and motivation. And if you're interested, please like and subscribe. Turn on those notification bells so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. And when I get to 2,000 subscribers, I'll be shaving my head and donating the proceeds to the Wales Air Ambulance. So if you'd like to support two charities at no cost to you, that would be fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe. If you wish to make a monetary donation, you can buy me a coffee in my Ko-Fi account linked down below. Also, any products I use in my home will be linked in the description box below, as well as on my website, stickymess17.co.uk. In today's video, I have got a few chores that I need to do that have been put on the back burner. So I'm just gonna be tackling that today. And so I suppose tackling your to-do list or getting it all done. Anyway, guys, with all of that said, let's jump straight into it. makes their bed every single day. I personally cannot function without my bed being made and I don't know what it is but I just like to come home and it just tidies up the whole house just by making your bed. That's my personal opinion anyway. But when I was little yes we had help in the house to look after our property and our family but I never saw the point in her making our beds because well I was just going to get back in and make a mess of it or be studying on it or something like that. But she did make our beds really well and there's no ways I'm anywhere near making it as well as she does. I'm rambling. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below if you make your bed every single day. On my to-do list today is run the vacuum over the house, clean the toaster bottom, clean next to the fridge, um, fill the soda crystals and a few other jobs around the house. So I'm gonna start with the soda crystals, then also get on with the fridge. I'll also need to vacuum the utility room and sort out the uh, pillows on my sofa. Now I'm going to tackle the section down the side of my fridge. I've got an under counter fridge that's on top of the counter because it's out of the way and we haven't really got space on the floor for it. Well, I suppose I could if I really could be bothered, but this fridge is absolutely fine for the three of us. And this space down here is a forgotten space. We usually leave like crackers or biscuits or, you know, squash drinks or painting cups and things like that. Stuff that's sort of forgotten about. And of course, my recipe file. <laughs> Get 
I'm using my e-cloth whiz just to literally whiz around the kitchen. And as you can see, I've just wiped my cooker top there and the marble and you can see it doesn't leave any streaks when it dries. It is such a brilliant little cloth and it makes cleaning the kitchen so lovely. I do use the alternate between the kitchen e-cloth and the kitchen whiz but they do just as much of a good job. The a kitchen cloth does have a scour pad, so for the harder stuck on surface dirt, but just to whiz around the kitchen as a freshen up in between, the whiz is absolutely fine. <laughs> Now it's time for a bit of honesty. Who honestly cleans their toaster at least once a week? Uh, not me. We don't use a toaster regularly, probably once or twice a month. So it doesn't need to be done regularly. But the fingerprints on it from me moving it like six times a day to wipe underneath uh, does get a bit annoying. So I'm going to clean the trays today. It hasn't been done in a while. We'll give a surface underneath it a good wipe down. We have had toast yesterday and give the inside drawer tray things a clean and put it all back together and then I'm going to use my e-cloth polishing cloth just to get rid of any finger marks after I've used the whiz to wipe it down. <laughs> I think next to cleaning my toilets, the windowsill in my kitchen is one of the things that I really dislike doing. I've given up on my basil now. It has actually lasted about eight months. I'm so proud of that. I can never keep a plant alive, but I'm going to get a new one probably in the spring. But first I need to clean off everything and I'm going to clear the windowsill with my daughter's <laughs> it's like a car vacuum but she wanted a vacuum from about six months old so it's still she still uses it and it's so handy just have this little vacuum in the house to clean up small jobs like that on the windowsill so then again use my whiz just to wipe it down put everything back together again my windowsill is lower than my sink so it's good for storage and it keeps chemicals out of reach but it is just so annoying but i suppose it gives us extra storage i suppose Please need a wash. Your brother's dirty dish. Mm. Please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But your brother's made it I'm now going to wipe out what I call the cat unit. Uh, it's got the dog soft food and treats and cat treats and bells and whistles and hairbrushes and, you know, just the animal stuff. So I'm going to take everything out of this cupboard and I'm using the Dettol antibacterial cleaner. Now, obviously, you know my feelings about the dogs. Uh, Matt decided to buy this dog shampoo, for, uh, like deodorizing spray. Let me just say, don't bother. The dogs still stink. <laughs> I have such a sensitive nose to dogs. I grew up with dogs and I'm done with that. But I needed to give it a good wipe down. There's obviously hair and dirt and dust and I don't think I've wiped this cupboard out in probably about five years, I'll be honest. So checking the dates on any products, getting rid of anything that doesn't need to be in there. And then, yeah, just put it all back together again.
Now my dark load is washed and dried, so I'm gonna fold it, hang it up, put it away, and then whilst I'm busy with the laundry, I'm then gonna iron the shirts that I've got hanging up on the side, waiting uh, to be ironed. And I use the Philips Elite Care um, steam generator iron. It is linked in my description box as well as on my website. It um, is not the cheapest iron, but I tell you what, watch when I do the ironing. It is so quick, so easy, and so efficient. Obviously, I'm busy editing this video now and the drama music when I start vacuuming. I've just had a little giggle. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Now the reason I am vacuuming around my daughter's toys and things is because well she's busy playing she's growing up and we're not expecting to have dinner for another little bit so she is home now from school but I'm just running the vacuum cleaner over and I really don't mind that her toys are out she's playing she's having fun but there's obviously bits on the floor that need to be picked up which is why I'm just running the vacuum over and I'm only doing sort of walk areas and the main used areas. I'm not moving furniture or anything like that like I do on a Sunday. I must say the one thing that I absolutely love about the Dyson stick vacuums, so I've got the V10, is that it's just so lightweight, so easy to empty, so easy to just run around the house. I do it twice a day because if you've been around a while, you know that I hate bits under my feet, even though I wear Crocs. I'm not in Crocs all the time in the house. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. I've just been hunting around for my camera for about 10 minutes. And it's there. And charge waiting for me to finish the video. <laughs> it's like when you go out and you're on your phone and you can't find your phone. Anyway, so guys, that's in it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on those notification bells. So you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. Any products I use will be linked in the description box below. And also on Saturday, I have my BSL, so be sure to come back on Saturdays and check that out. 
I have a full playlist of my BSL. I have a full playlist of my 2021 cleaning. So if you're interested, go and check another video. And guess what? It's free. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And I will see you in the next one. So take care of yourselves. Look after each other. Make good choices. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. See you. Bye. Thank you.